Hello everyone. Today we are on to our fifth dynamic programming algorithm tutorial and this is about the all pair shortest path tutorial in other words known as the floyd warshall tutorial. Now the floyd warshall tutorial states that you have to use in in in, in all the other tutorials that we've used like Bellman Ford and Dijkstra we are just using one pair and then relaxing from that pair and then again selecting another pair and then relaxing from that pair but in this algorithm, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using all the pairs at once and then relaxing at the same time. All right, so uh, the algorithm is like this. is like you have to use an intermediate vertex or an intermediate path between I and J uh, that would be uh, that we would use for relaxing. And this intermediate path K is from 1 to that part, 1 to that iteration, 1, to K, 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, K. That means if you are in the kth iteration, it will be from 1, 0, 1, 2, or 0, 1, 2, 3, and then k, 1, 2, 3, and then k. That means if k is 1, so it will just be 1 iteration, and if k is 2, so we could we would use 1 and 2 as the uh, middle intermediate path. All right, we'll see this after we'll get to, you know, look at the algorithm and look at the simulation. We'll get to, you know, understand it more properly. Let's look at the algorithm. So this is a really huge algorithm with the running time for this is order of n cube. Now, because it was, it's because there are three nested loops all together, k, i, and j. Uh, and then uh, in this case, so in Bellman 4 and in all the other tutorials, what we're trying to do is we're always trying to find the maximum. Here, we're trying to find the minimum. So for finding the minimum, we would just try to minimize the number of, uh, what's it called, the, the, the vertex number or the value of the vertex. So uh, let's look at the simulation first. D0 means only 0 is used as the intermediate k, k path, that means dk. So d is actually d to d sub k. So and d0 is, the, 0 is the intermediate path. And for this, initially what we do, for d0 is uh, always the initial base k. So what we do is we just try to write the uh, values of the vert the values of the paths. Uh, the edges, the values of the edges, like we would do uh, while writing an adjacency matrix. So 1 to 2 is 8, 1 to 0, so 1 to 1 is always 0, 2 to 2 is also always 0, 3 to 3 is always 0, and 4 to 4 is always 0. So we'd write these in that sort of manner, in a diagonal way. And then when 1 to 4 is uh, 1, and then 1 to 3 is there's no 1 to 3 there's just a path from 3 to 1 so 1 to 3 will be infinity and uh, well likewise we would do it with other with the other so, uh, what you call vertices now notice that in most of the dynamic programming tables that we do we always have this zero zeroth row and zeroth column but this for this one we don't need a zeroth row and zeroth column because we're dealing with a graph here we're dealing with vertices here so in the for this is the since this is this itself is the initial case base case so we don't need to initialize with the zeroth row and zeroth column in this case all right so we would do we would do it to d4 because there are four vertices one two three and four so uh, we, let's start with d1 so d1 that means one is used as k one is used as the intermediate path so um, 1 to 1 is always 0. These will always remain 0 all the time. These will never change. So let's do it for the, all the tables. So we don't have to be bothered with it anymore. <coughs> all right. <coughs> Excuse me. So for 1 to 2, well, uh, 1 to 2, there is no intermediate path for this. Let's look at, let's try to find the intermediate paths first. When one is the intermediate path, that time, what kind of paths do we have? Three, one, four. Three, one, four will, will be one. Three is I, one is K, and four is J. So three, one, four. So let's write down these first. Three, one, four. And then there might be um, three, one, two. So three, one, two. And then there might be, um, well, I don't think there's any more. So, because 4, 1, 4, 4 to 1, there's no path, so we can do that. So, let's first write down these uh, edges first. So, 3, 1, 4 means 3 to 4. 3 is i and 4 is j and 1 is just k. 
so 3 to 4 3 to 4 this before it was infinity so we would definitely update this so 3 to 4 is what 3 to 4 3 to 1 is 4 4 plus 1 is 5 so we would update this to k uh, sorry 5 and then 3 to 2 3 to 2 previously previously was infinity as well so 3 to 2 is 3 to 1 is 4 4 plus 8 is 12 so we would update update this to 12 all right so um for again let's try to write all the, all the other edges one to two we won't update so eight infinity and one and then zero one infinity infinity and then four twelve zero five and then zero uh, what you call infinity two nine zero all right so d1 is done let's move on to d2 for d2 two is the k here in this case and we would try to find now notice that here we just did one as the one as the intermediate path but here we can use one and two as well as the intermediate path so uh, let's move on two first let's find the intermediate path from two so let's just rub this out all right so when two is the intermediate path so one two three 1, 2, and 3 is one path. And then 1, 4, 3. Sorry, 1, 4, 3, 4. Sorry, 4 is the K here. For, for this, 2 is the K. So 4, 2, 3. So 4, 2, 3 is another path. And then um, 2, well, there is no more incoming, outgoing. Oh, sorry, there is no more incoming. It just says 1 and 2 and 4 and 2. And then, um, well, let's update these first. So 1 and 3, 1 to 3 was infinity before. So we would definitely update this. 1 to 3 is, we're trying to minimize it, remember. So 1 to 3, 1 to 3 is 8 plus 1, which is 9. So 9. So let's write down these. 8, 9, 1, zero, 1. And then infinity, infinity, 2, 4, wait. 4 to 3. So let's, let's update this one first. 4 to 3 is 4 to 3. So 2 plus 1, which is 3. So 4 to 3 is 3. 9 is bigger, so we're updating this to the smaller one. So 3. We updated it to 3. So 2 and then infinity, 4, 12, 0, and then 5. All right. So let's move on to D3. I'm going to be showing you the full tutorial here because as a beginner when I was in your place when I didn't know about this I had problems with it when I didn't know when I didn't know how to do the full tutorial and I had to figure it out on my own that you have to use k from 1 to n so here 1 and 2 can be used as the pivot and so here 1 2 and 3 can be used as the sorry not the pivot sorry the intermediate path as the intermediate path here as well so let's do the for the third third one as well so d3 so d3 when d when 3 is the k that time 2 3 1 is one path 2 3 1 2 3 1 and then 4 3 1 3 1 and then um well 4, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, there's no more, but let's just update these first. Then we'll try to look if 1, 2, 3 and something can be formed together as the, as the K, as the, as the intermediate path. So 2 to 1, 2 to 1 is infinity, so we would definitely update this. 2 to 1 is 2, 3, 1, so 1 plus 4 is 5, so 2 to 1 is 5, and then... 4 to 1, 4 to 1 was infinity as well, so 4, 3, 1, 4, 3, 1 is 9 plus 4, uh, what you got, 4, 3, 1 is 9 plus 4, wait, let me check first, yeah, so 4, 4 to 1 was infinity, so 4, 3, 1 is 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, so 13, will be 13, and then, um, well, let's do the others now. 
when one and when one, two, and three all together can be used as a pivot, uh, I mean as a K at that time, what do we do? One, two, three, and then well, this would form a cycle, so we can't do this. And then four, two, three. Well, we can we can't use we can only use two and three. So four, two, three, one. Let's try look at this one. Four, two, three, one. Let's look at this path. Four, two, three, and one. Where two and three are the K. Alright, so 4 plus 4 to 2 is 2 plus 1, so 3 plus 4 is 7. So 2 plus 1 plus 4. Sorry, so 2 plus 1 plus 4 is 7. So we would definitely update this to 7 because 13 is bigger. So let's update this to 7. Alright. So other paths, I guess there will be the same, I'm sure. 4, 12, 0, 5. And then let's look at this one. Uh, 2, 2, 3. Let's try and try to find the shortest path here. 2, 2, 3. So 2, 2, 3, we could just use... Um, yeah, so 2, 2, 3, we already have a shortest path, so... It will be this and 2 to 4. Now let's try to find the shortest path from 2 to 4. Well, 2, 3, 1, 4. Let's try looking at this one. 2, 3, 1 and then 4. So 2 to 3 is 1 and then 3 to 4 is 4. So 1 plus 4 is 5. 5 plus 1 is 6. So this one. Now like uh, this tutorial is I'm showing this to you but then in when you're trying this at home I bet you will face a little bit of difficulties because I face them as well it's a bit hard to get used to this kind of thing because you, you know, when it's a really big graph when it, when it has lots of vertices it will be really tough trying to find the k intermediate k and trying trying it will lead a lot a lot of trial and error so well you have to just just get used to it and just hope for the best that in the exam you do get a smaller graph because it will be easier to do in the smaller graphs and when it's a bigger graph you would have to check with each each k each pivot i mean each intermediate path one two three or one two three four or one two three four five that'll be really tough so well i'll just say that you just have to get used to it get you know practice it a lot and stuff and i, I hopefully Hopefully in the exam you'll get an easier one because they're just trying to test your logic. Not the not they're not trying to make you you know do stuff that they're not expecting you to do stuff that computers can do. All right, so now four is the intermediate path. Now let's look at the simulation when four is the intermediate path. Yes. All right. So when four is the intermediate path, what do we do? We try to try to find the find the paths one four three one four three and then there is a one four two one four and two and then there is um well i don't think there is any just normal casually when when you're just doing when four is when just four is k that time we just get two paths so let's try updating them first so one two three 1 to 3 was 9. So 1, 4, 3, what does it, what do we get? 1, 4, 3 is 10. So uh, we shouldn't update. 1, 2, 3 is 9. So 1, 4, 3 is um, 1, 4, 3 is 9 plus 1 is 10. Now, how do we get 9 here? Okay, yeah, alright. So 1, 4, 2. 1 plus 2 is 3. So 1 to 2, what was the previous path? 8. So we would update this to 3. And then, um, and then let's up, let's try to update these. One to four was nine, so we'll just keep it as nine. One, and then five, zero, one, six. When we have, when we find a little bit of changes, we'll change it later on. And then four, twelve, zero, five, and seven, two, three, zero. Okay, now let's try to look at it when one, four, three, something, you know, when one to four is K. So, let's find the paths. Now, of when 1, 2, 3, 4 can all, when all of them can be used as K, let's see how the path is for 1, 2, 3. So, 1, 1, 4, 3, um, well, 2, no, 
two, three, one, four, two. Let's see how this path goes. Well, that will be a really big path. We will be from a cycle, so we can't do that. Well, and then two, three, one, four. We did this already before. And then one, four, two, three. Let's look at this one. One, four, two, three. One, four, two, three. So one, four, two, three is one plus two plus three. And one plus two is three. Three plus one is four. So we would update this to four because one, four, two, three is smaller than one, two, three, the original path, which was nine. So let's update this to four. One, four, two. Let's check again. One, four is one. Four, two is two. Two, one is two, three is one. So four. All right. So and then let's look at this one. The three, uh, three, one, two, four. Nope. Well, from a cycle, 4 has to be the intermediate, obviously. I mean, even if you're using 1, 2, and 3 as the K intermediate path, but 4 has to be the intermediate because this is D4 that we're talking about. 4 has to stay at the Kth position, not at the Jth position. So, 3, 2, 2, 3, 1, 4, 2. Let's try this one. 3, 1, 4, 2. 3, 1, 4, 2. So, 3, 1 is 4. 4 plus 2. 1 is 5, 5 plus 2 is 7. So 12 is bigger than 7, so we definitely update this to 7. Let's update this to 7. Alright, so I don't think we can update anymore because if we do try to make more bigger paths when k is like, you know, when we are using all of the k's that time, well, it will be, it will be like, you know, to form a cycle later on. These are the only two maximum paths that we can get uh, after updating, after using these the intermediate two or three paths as the intermediate K. So, well, uh, this is the actual answer. This is the final answer for this. And um, like I said, the time complexity was order of N cube. And well, so yeah, that, that's about it about this one this is the algorithm we'll, we'll try to minimize it this is actually less than sign uh, when dik plus dkj is less than dij then we update it to dij will update it will be updated to dik plus dkj and this is for finding the predecessor so yeah that's about it i hope you understood this tutorial and uh, well uh, please subscribe and give a thumbs up if you want more this kind of tutorials and well good luck